What's up everybody? We are doing a beautiful full bathroom remodel going from a 1988 bathroom to a fully curbless walk-in shower as well as a standalone tub. Let's show you the existing bathroom, what we're gonna do, how we're gonna change this footprint. Here we go. We'll first start with the floor. Obviously this has been updated, but this will be ripped out. We are installing mosaic sheets for the floor and below the tub as well as in the walk-in curbless shower. We will be deleting this vanity, installing a new vanity as well. Our main focus really is this area here. We will be deleting this soffit, that soffit, as well as this soffit here, opening up this shower to about 100 inches. We are going to install a standalone panel, relocating this valve, and then installing a freestanding tub here in the corner. Time to get to work, time to tear this out. No waterproofing on this. Wood is still intact. And the Corian was simply placed on drywall. Okay, during demo process, we did run into an issue. Let me show you what this issue is, and let me show you what our solution to this issue is. After opening this soffit, you have your HVAC system here. So the idea was to bring the shower all the way back to that wall. So what we're gonna do now is very simple. We're going to hinge a glass door here. We're going to build the shower out to about 34 to 36 inches. Install the tub this way. Have a curbless entry, open the hinge door to walk into the shower as well as walking into the tub. One issue we had was having our valve here spraying water down into the tub. Quick solution, a shower rain head installed right here that goes like this and drops down so the water will fall straight down rather than spray underneath the tubs. Time to finish up demo, go to lunch, here we go. All right guys, demo is almost complete. Soffit has been removed. We're going to replace all of this insulation. Now it's time for the fun part. Break apart this extremely thick and heavy Corian tub, get a little workout, bag it all up, bring it downstairs, clean everything up, rip out this mixing valve, install our new mixing valve as well. Again, we're gonna keep the floor and vanity just simply for the use of water, easier to clean up. Let's have some fun, bang this out. All right, guys, here is the bottom of the tub. We've got, I don't know, that's probably inch and a quarter, thick Corian reinforced with fiberglass. All broken up, took about half an hour. Time to bag it up, toss it in the dump trailer. Time to sweep everything up, clean up all of this debris. Here is the shower pan. We thought this was Corian, but ends up it is marble. Shower pan is about, again, inch and a quarter thick, not quite sure how they got this up. I'm assuming with the crane over here, but quick work, 30 to 45 minutes. Let's clean this up, plumb our valve, let's roll. What's up and good morning, everybody. It is Monday, we have a lot of work to do. Let's show you our progress. Talk about what we plan to uh, accomplish today, our goals basically. We want everything sort of ready for uh, board and waterproof, but there's a few things that we need to address before we are installing sheeted mosaic for the bathroom floor. It'll flow into the shower as well, curbless. So we need our substrate to be extremely flat 
extremely level, so we need to pour self-levelers. So we have everything opened up. Plumbing is done. That's for the bathtub. Mixing valve, mixing valves installed over here with a diverter, raise the shower head. So plumbing's complete. Drains are complete. Drain for the tub, drain for the shower. This is how we build our curbless showers. Very simple. We remove the subfloor. We're going to block it down here, install plywood flush with our joists, which will accept our prefabricated shower tray, which is about an inch thick. That will give us enough room to install our self-leveler, Ditra, and tile. It will be flush with the shower pan, proper pitch and slope to the drain. So today is simple. We're gonna block over here, install our plywood, install our plywood here as well. We're going to remove this cabinet, remove this floor. Prep everything, install all of our spray foam, our great stuff spray foam with all the cracks and seams so that our self leveler will not make its way downstairs. So that's the ultimate goal when we leave today is to have this entire floor filled with self levelers for our mosaic sheet tile. All right, so this is where we install the shower pan. We wanted to raise this up a little more than an eighth. And as you can see, it's about almost 3 sixteenths. We install our one inch tray, install Ditra tile. Everything will be flush with our proper pitch and slope right down to the drain.